Hello, my Brood War brothers. Today, I've got a fantastic set of games here for you. We're looking at Shao Shui versus Best. And we've actually got another game here coming up after this one. It's going to be Shao Shui versus Snow. I was taking a look at a bunch of replays on stream today. All foreigner replays versus ASL level Korean players. And some of them were good. Some of them were not so good. And a few of them were really, really great. And that's what we're going to look at today. A couple of great matches between Shao Shui and two of the best Protoss players we have in Korea right now. Two of the best Protoss players in the world. So best is coming out first. We're going to get to snow afterwards. Shao Shui, a Chinese player. Xiao means small. Shui means handsome. He's a little handsome. Let's see his handsome, handsome gameplay here today. So this is this is one of those rare cases, guys, where I've actually seen the games beforehand. I usually don't do that. I usually just go into them blind. But here I already took a look. I know these are going to be some awesome, awesome games. So I, you know, I constantly hear people say that they don't want to see foreigner games. They only want to see Korean games. Um, because they think the foreigners are not skilled enough. I beg to differ. Foreigners can absolutely have some great games. And I hope this will be a little bit of proof of that today. That foreigners can absolutely put up some great games versus Korean pros. We're going to see it here. Two gateways from best. He's going to send a couple of zealots across the map. And we haven't even scouted yet for Shao Shui. So Shao Shui has no idea what's coming. The double gateway in the natural is a very difficult play to fight back against. But there are uh, known solutions to this. It's just, it, it's, it's very fast. The zealots really get there quick. And there's, you know, putting a... a Forge here makes this a very difficult wall. We've got a pylon coming up over on this side. He's probably going to throw down a shield battery, I imagine. And the zealot getting to work on this hatchery. He doesn't manage to block this crypt colony down here. And gets a drone kill there. Ooh, bit of a mistake from Shao Shui losing that first drone. Now, we're dealing quite a bit of damage. If this goes below 100... HP. There's really no point in even finishing that. Trying to get this around on that one Zealot. Oh, doing so much damage to it. It will get away though. Just 8 HP. We're below that 100, so he will cancel before it dies. And starts two sunken colonies here on the top. Getting another pretty decent surround, but needs to buy some more time here. Sunken colony is pretty darn low, but getting on top of these Zealots and dealing a lot of damage. Will he be able to save this? No. The probe getting the kill there on that sunken but with only one sunken remaining here it looks like Shao Shui will hold however he did end up using three drones for sunken colonies and he lost one drone in the end all right just barely gonna kill this oh my gosh that's just gonna survive another one on eight HP will be able to get out of there best Putting on a lot of pressure here in the early game, but Shao Shui is going to hold on. And he's managed to, to bust out 14 drones. Not bad. Just a couple of drones, a couple of workers behind the Protoss player at this point. We haven't seen a gas just yet. And no forge either. So pressuring still with the zealots. Got four zealots on the other side of the map. We should see a forge come down here pretty soon, I imagine. Unless he wants to go straight into... Wow, he's running by this. This is a little bit crazy. Best going to come up to the ramp here. Shao Shui actually taking not the greatest engage on the ramp. I expected him to, to block right here. But he wanted to wait right on the top of the ramp. To buy as much time as possible for this sunken to keep attacking. It's a good thing that this sunken was targeted. And not these sunkens up here. Because if this one had finished... 
it would have been an easy run by into the main. Uh, the fact that this one is still alive is pretty advantageous for Xiao Shuai right now. And get another shot off with that sunken. These zealots are very low at this point. And zealots are going to run around behind this gas now. Just chilling, camping. It's like we will get this around and kill. How many more lings can they finish off before the end? Just two. And now that this has been cleaned, we can absolutely start to add on drones. Well, Lair was thrown down during that pressure, and Aspire is now on the way. A second gas is going to come up here, so we might see a bit of Ogre Zerg Gamer, which is, of course, the coin term uh, by... Uh, the, the term coined by Tasteless himself. The play where you send Mutas and Scourge into the main base of the Protoss and just try to bulldog them, force them out of the main base, kill off all of the cannons and the Corsairs, and just try to take domination. It's like, just avoid the cannons at the front altogether and just take over the main. It's a very strong play. We'll see how many Scourge he makes here. If it's just for... Well, he's actually got the... The Spire here is going to finish, I think, even before this. Oh, no. The Stargate's going to finish a little bit faster. But by the time that first Corsair comes out, I think we're going to see Scourge on the field already. So the timing of everything is looking a bit in Zhao Shui's favor. Um... The economic side of things, though, is really on best side here. He's got a lot more probes. And we're sitting here two base to two base. So really, as the Zerg player, you have to do something. The pressure is all on you at that point. You've got to make something happen. And he's even going for a Hydralis Den with this as well. I sure he's got something pretty sneaky here in his head with... Two Scourge coming across the map. Here's that first Corsair. It's going to get caught. First Corsair. Can he finish it off? Chasing it down right now with two Scourge and some Mutas. He's getting that moving shot. And there it is. He picks it off. First Corsair goes down. That's a huge boon to this play. It, it really is. The Ogres and Gamer play is a tempo play. You have to get in there. And start to kill cannons before all of these defenses finish up. We've got two cannons there. And one just started. Can he get the kill here? There's the Scourge coming in. You actually want to focus the Scourge with the cannons at this point. Try to get rid of them so that the Corsairs can fight. Otherwise, they will just die immediately. Still running around here. Doing a pretty good job of avoiding the Scourge. But looks like... Just one Corsair remaining. Might be able to do the job. Four Mutas here. Kill that one Corsair and they will back off. Still four Mutas remain. And one cannon here to fight these back. Four Zealots walked across the map. But there's already Lings and Hydras out. He's so low economy right now. He just went back into gas it looks like. Seems like he pulled out of gas for a moment. He's back into gas now. We've got one Dragoon coming out here to take some pot shots. Looks like he targeted the low HP Mutalist, uh, possibly. Kind of supply blocked right now. We don't have any pylons on the way, which is a bit of a problem. Where are the pylons here for best? He's building Dragoons right now. And he's got four. Four Dragoons total. Hydra's going to hit here at the front. Threatening the attack, and we are light years away from having Storm. So, all these Hydras, these Lings, can they break through the small amount of cannons and this clutch of Dragoons here in the back? Singularity Charge is not done, so these are not going to be very effective, these Dragoons. However, Xiao Shui does need to do something. Oh, losing some Lings here. Very painful. You need those for fodder. When the time eventually comes, but more mutas popping out here. Oh, this is sneaky. How many cannons are in the main? Oh, just one, and he stopped making Corsairs. Look at this. He's making a ton of gateways right now. 
and he's only got one cannon in the main this is a big big brain play here from Shao Shui. he's gonna bulldog the main one more time the ogre zerg gamer part two here gonna be sent in he's gonna build a second sunken colony he knows that when he breaks the main a counter attack will be imminent we've got a bunch of zealots popping out here right now for best he's getting ready for a full-on ground assault and Shao Shui is not gonna play that game he's gonna build even more mutas oh my god when is he gonna go with this he's really taking it slow here a drone headed down to bottom left maybe to make an extra base just some hidden expansion out on the map potentially and it looks like he's just about ready to go here what does the situation in the main look like though still nothing being produced out of this stargate we've got the temple archives on the way that'll be a huge target here during this attack coming into the main you can see that Bess is about to get completely blindsided here everything is at the front the dragoons immediately going to get pulled back We've still got the Scourge ready to fight. Just two Corsairs. Can he actually get the connections? All right, not going to get any connections on those. But as long as he keeps those Scourge alive, really, the uh, Corsairs can't engage. And they do engage. He's just going to target down these Dragoons here. Dragoons do not stand much of a chance against the big Mutilus number that's in this main right now. Running across the map with the Zealots. We're gonna back up all the way to our sunkens. We have more mutas popping out here as well. And we know there's no threat from like an Archon or something that's gonna pop out just yet. Mutas here hitting the Nexus as these mutas start to hit the natural. So many probes are going down, but we're still a long way behind the Protoss. Zealots making their way over here towards this natural. Gonna pick off looks like the sunken colony right away. The mutas are not or the the hydras, excuse me, are not really fighting right now. They really should be involved in this battle while the sunken is tanking one templar does pop out some dragoons come out as well but the muta's number is still a little bit too high right now he's able to just bully back these dragoons and we're not actually making any cannons here looks like back at home we did manage to hold and another round of mutas is going to come across this map now no storm available right now for these templar he's gonna lose that templar and the Archon here. Oh, he could pick off the Templar right there. Templar are going to make another Archon. Another Archon going to come up. These Templar are going to morph. No, they get denied. The denial on the Archon so, so big right now. And another wave of Mutas making their way into the main. He picks off that Templar, that Archon there in the main. And that was best hope here for taking back this main base. GG is called best taps out Shao Shui with a very interesting two-part mutilus bust here. I really think he mind gamed best pretty hard into thinking that he had taken another base and that he was fully transitioning into Hydra by pushing the front and really scaring him here with the Hydralis and then fully switching back into Muta. On just two gas, mind you, he managed to pull off that play, and Best was completely taken off guard. A really nice game here from Shao Shui, and he gets the win. He gets the win over Best, one of the strongest, greatest players we have in Korea right now, especially for Protoss. But we have Snow waiting in the wings. Let's jump into that next game. Here we go, game number two here. We've got Xiao Shui in the top left-hand corner. Snow down in the bottom right. Did I mention Xiao Shui is 2400 MMR right now, 2407. He has a second account, this one. GFG SGV FADF is 2514. Damn. That is some really, really high MMR for this Chinese player. And guys, what else can I say about Snow, man? This guy is one of the absolute best players on ladder. I recently watched him in person in Korea at the ASL. It was an extreme honor. It was fantastic to see him in person. Even got... His signature 
um, on my cheerful that I made for him um, to, you know, cheer him on during his run. Really, really awesome guy. Uh, has been absolutely on fire as of late. And of course, these games are from 2024. So this is the peak snow what we're watching. I don't even know if this is, is this his peak? I, I, I feel like this may be snow's peak, but maybe he can reach even greater heights. 2024 snow seems pretty ridiculous. But there's really no, there's no ceiling on how good you can get in StarCraft Brood War. There, there really isn't. There's always greater heights. There's always another level beyond where you're at right now. And look at this. Oh my gosh. We've got a bunch of eggs here. And Snow actually went for a Nexus first. He's watching the eggs. He's watching the eggs. It's drones. And there's the forge right there. Dude. Is Snow for real? He comes in here. He sees three eggs morphing at the same time. And he didn't even have a forge started. That is wild. If that was all links popping out there, if it was just six links, he would have come across the map and killed him. He even sees two links pop out. He still hasn't thrown down a cannon. Snow is insane, guys. He is insane. More links are on the way here. And these ones are crossing the map right now. The wall is pretty good. He's going to pull probes. How has he not made a, a, a cannon yet? Three probes here with a zealot on the way. Is he going to eventually make this cannon or what? Looks like we're waiting on building a cybernetic score first. That's, in, that's just crazy. I'm going to fight with the probe here. It looks like he might lose it. He does lose the probe, but he gets the zealot in the gap here. Absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe how greedy Snow is right now. He got the cybernetic score before cannon. He still hasn't built a cannon. We've got some links coming up. They're going to start to punish a little bit. Trying to, at least. Almost picking off this gateway, actually. Oh, that's quite a few lings. Can't mess around right now. Five lings. Good surround and kill this zealot. He finally starts a cannon, guys. Finally. He's already got the Cybernetic Core done. That cannon is going to slow down his Stargate. Just a tad. But my god, is it necessary. If you're a Protoss player, you 100% know how greedy this is. This is ridiculous greed here from Snow, but he manages to pull it off. At least thus far. And he's kept that probe alive for a ridiculous amount of time. It's almost dead. And he's going to get in and scout the Spire now, so he knows everything. And he knows that his Stargate is pretty well long compared to the Spire. So... Yeah, he's going to have out a, a crazy fast Corsair here. Let's see when this Corsair actually hits the field. Six minutes is kind of a normal timing. You can hit a five minute 30 Corsair with a, a Forge first. If you're really optimized. But let's see when this pops out here. So it looks like it's going to be just after five minute 30. And it looks like 538 that pops out. So not perfectly optimized here. I thought it was going to be even quicker than that. Maybe if he never had to build the cannon. If there hadn't been any pressure from Seeky, he might have been able to get it out quite a bit quicker there. But he's gone for a Robo now. Robo in the natural. This is going to be some sort of Reaver play here. We're going to see... Reaver Corsair out of snow going up against Xiao Shui. And will he get punished for this kind of tricky play here? We're going to go into armor. 
for Shao Shuai. Getting his hatcheries out right now. He should have Scourge in just a moment. We're going to get two Overlord kills here. And the Scourge are now out. Chasing back the Corsairs here. As four Zealots hit the field. He thinks about running by. But two cannons are going to dissuade him from making that decision. Six more Ling's going to pop. Six more sets. So 12 Ling's going to pop here. And these Ling's coming back. They all should be able to deal with this. Although we found ourselves in a pretty nice position here. At this point with Snow going after some of these drones. A good spot here between the two hatcheries as well. Making a pretty decent trade. This is way too many Ling's though. We need to get to back to work here. Uh, as soon as possible though. Zealot will make its way into the natural at the same time. This is always very annoying. And he might get a drone kill. Um, it feels almost impossible to not allow any drone kills to go on when something like this is happening. But it's always shocking to me when players like Hero and Soul Key can manage to multitask all of this at the same time. Now, one Muta is out. Let's see what kind of response that creates from Snow. A second Stargate here. Pretty typical if you're going to go for Reaver anyway to get the second Stargate, but now that he's seen Mutas, he knows for sure that that's a good choice. We've got Gravitic Drive here on the way. Shuttle movement. Coming online here shortly. And this first move out, what we're seeing right here, this, this first move out is super important. I have to watch this very, very carefully because back at home, Chao Shuai has a lot of air. He's got a lot of Scourge, some Sunkins, and Lings. If he... Oh, God. Is he actually going to attack his own hatchery? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. He does stop that. I was looking a little scary there for a moment. If the shuttle gets into a good position and lands this Reaver, things are going to get pretty rough here for Shao Shui. But if he picks this off and stops the Reaver... Uh, he will be in a very nice position. Are we going to pick up the second Reaver or are we going to leave this at home? I think it's better to leave the Reaver here. It denies any sort of counterattack. Coming in now with the Mutas. Get a few kills here. I think he saw the Reaver there as he was flying over and killing some probes. There's the uh, shuttle. Does manage to turn around and run away. I heard one Corsair go down there. But these Scourge are not going to connect. Bringing everything together. And Snow is heading out. He's on his way across the map here. Where will he head first? Will it be the third? Will it be the main? The natural even? There's some Scourge. They do get sniped very quickly. Ooh, that was really close. Oh my goodness. Okay, a lot of Scourge connecting here. That was pretty darn good for Shao Shui. He will be able to... Oh, wow. Great shot there. Some more Scourge going to pop out. The Mutas are fighting the Corsairs and taking a lot of damage. And the uh, Reaver has been picked up. 10 kill Reaver. Another 4 kills there. Does manage to pick off a few more. Ooh, looks like the Reaver will end up going down. He queues up another uh, Scarab there. And 3 more kills at the very last that was like a 15, maybe 17 kill Reaver. Pretty darn good here for Snow. But with this type of play, there is a bit of a momentum shift, right? There's some time now where Shao Shui can really re-drone here. He's still at 49 drones. A lot of those have been popped out just in the last few moments here. So he's got to get those to work. Get this full saturation here with three gases on three base. Um... And Snow lost a lot of his Corsairs, so there is going to be a little time here. There's going to be a little downtime for Chao Shui, where he can really start to build things up once again. He's adding on Carapace upgrades. I'm really shocked to see him not putting down uh, any more upgrades here uh, for the air units. It's pretty awesome if you can get you know, two, three upgrades on your, uh, three, like, carapace upgrades on your mutas and scourge. 
then the Corsairs really don't do much to them. Right now they're at plus one, but you need to get a fleet beacon enabled to get, uh, or in, it, to, to enable your next set of upgrades. Now this is kind of far behind here. This shuttle is kind of far behind. So it could get picked off, but now it's been brought together here. We've got one Archon and two Reavers here. Are gonna start to just bash away. Oh, will he actually get that? Does get the shuttle there and gonna go ahead and micro around this Archon. Picks off both of the Reavers. Really good micro there from Xiao Shuai. He will drive this Archon away. Can he actually pick up the hatchery here? Lings are going to pop. Ar Archon getting low here. He does pick it off. And the Mutas, oh, they're gonna be dived upon by all these Corsairs. The Corsairs just ripping them apart. Unfortunately, the Scourge not in the proper position to zone here. And it's just gonna be pure Ling fighting off these Zealots. Now there are, uh, you know, equivalent upgrades here. One armor to one attack, so the Lynx can do pretty well against this, and he does save the hatchery, but he's gonna start to lose some more overlords. I tell you, plus two carapace on air is really, really nice. We're going to hive now. Um, if we get in and find out that there's still more Corsairs being made, Devour could be insanely good. You don't need a lot of them, just a couple. Just mix in a couple of Devours. And it could be incredibly, incredibly good. Zealots are going to look for some damage in the natural. You do not want to run in there, I'm telling you. That is a death trap. More upgrades coming up here. And we might actually see the carapace upgrades get ahead of the zealot attack. So lings are going to become incredibly good. A fourth base is starting to come down here. Probe running around the map. A... Base down here at the bottom right with one DT could be enough to just stop all of these lings coming down here. We've got a lot of scourge, a lot of lings, but DT not to be tri not to be trifled with, guys. Especially if you don't have Overlord Speed. I don't think we actually have Overlord Speed, which could be a serious problem. DT is going to get dropped off here. Oh, this DT going to work. Over at this base, we're gonna bring in all the Scourge at the same time. Can he get the connections? He will get the connections here. He picks off a lot of these Scourge. The Corsair, or the, picks off a lot of the Corsairs, excuse me. The Reaver goes down as well, and we've still got 46 workers left over. A wild attack here from Snow, but it appears he's gonna be able to hold on. Xiao Shui pushing everything back. Some more. Overlords pop out and pneumatized carapace Finally gonna come down after hive is done. We finally get that pneumatized carapace and uh, I just heard recently from a, a commenter pneumatized carapace uh, The meaning of pneumatized is actually air pockets Apparently I didn't look this up myself, but according to YouTube comments pneumatized is air pockets, so that's why pneumatized carapace actually makes them faster. I was I was seriously questioning that, like why is carapace making that faster? But thank you, guy in the chat in the comments for letting me know. We've got a third base now. A fourth base is going to start to come down. I really think Xiao Shui needs to do something about this, but he couldn't really do much until his pneumatized carapace was finished. Wow, a lot of lings out right now. So many. Here, and he's really just massing up right now with Lings. Getting into an Ultra Cavern as well. That seems a little bit strange. I'm not sure why you'd want to go Ultra Cavern versus Reaver DT. Which is so far the composition that we've seen from Snow here. DT is coming up to try and defend these cannons. But the Lings are going to kill a lot of those very quickly. We've got plus one plus one with Crackling Upgrade. Some Overlords are going to come up here. And at the same time, well, these DTs are going to deal with that, but these cannons cannot hold back the 1-1 Lings, and he might be able to pick off this Nexus. 
flowing in the lings and mutas here over towards this base looks like this base just barely gonna survive wow he saves it with just 600 hp with the reaver this one does go down though crazy all right he's gonna come down here as well i don't think this is gonna go well um oh maybe he still gets this are you kidding me wow Zhao Shuai goes for the kill on the Nexus and he stops mining here for Snow, who's actually added the Fleet Beacon and he's going for plus two um, on his Corsairs, which is pretty crazy. But um, we still don't have plus two armor on air, but we're still building Scourge. So, dude, these Scourge are going to get wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. It's going to be painful. At least he does have a spore here. No spore here just yet, but if you're going to get wrecked in the air, um, you got to build something else that can detect. Because once all of the overlords are gone, those DTs are going to run rough over the rest of your base. Wow, quite a few of the courses do get picked off. Pretty good splitting there uh, and attacking in by Xiao Shuai. Man managing to do a really decent job of clearing that out. Overlord here really needs to get into position. This 15 kill Dark Templar has been a nuisance for long enough to pick that guy off eventually. Like he finally will track that down. Trying to take the base in the top right, but we haven't cleared this mineral field yet. It's a little bit hard to transfer things and defenses up here. Maybe if we get a Nidus though, it won't be a big problem. He was trying to take the base over here as well. But dude, just massing lings right now. Xiao Shuai, you know, doing what he's got, you know, just sticking with what he knows and sticking with uh, the, the thing he's got is tons and tons of minerals. So might as well just pump out huge amounts of lings. Um, he's still producing mutas. He hasn't upgraded that armor and he hasn't made a greater spire yet. I feel like this is a mistake. How do you not make a greater Spire in these situations? We're going to see plus two attack here in just a second. And the Corsairs are going to almost double in just usefulness and damage here. It's going to be silly, guys. It really will be silly. Um, that, that's a an overstatement. That's an exaggeration, of course. But it's crazy how much damage they do when they get to two, arm, or two, two attack. Look at how quickly they're already killing stuff. And plus two is about to finish. Watch how quickly they're going to start wrecking mutas. So more Scourge are going to pop. 12 more Scourge. He's still not getting that. He's got a lot of Carapace going up to plus three armor. We don't even have plus two on these side blades. But I tell you what. Armor doesn't matter if you can't see your opponent. If they're invisible men running around... Armor certainly doesn't matter against those either. See right here. Still one-shotting lings. It doesn't matter how much armor you've got. That 40 damage still is a nightmare to deal with. We need a sunken and spore here immediately. We need a sunken and spore here like yesterday. Wow, look at all the ling bodies here. As these Dark Templar just clear house on the uh, middle of the map. 20 kill Dark Templar. Damn, that plus two doing work right now. Overlord's flying into their death. Oh my goodness, so many kills. 10 more kills on this Dark Templar. 20 kills, 15, eight. Holy, it's just so many kills on these. He's gonna make his way up here. Two Dark Templar. Looks like they might get taken out, but they can't always run away. Ooh, this base might go down. We don't have any Overlords over here. And the DT is going to work. How many DTs? The six DTs making short work of the base in the upper right. He's trying to make a creep colony that will be picked off. This base is going to come up, it looks like. And we still haven't seen a third here or fourth here from Snow yet. He's mining only off of this base right here. Main and natural are completely mined out. Here comes some more Dark Templar. Dark Templar making their way to the front. Looks like they'll get picked off very nice and quick. Oh, big Scourge connects. Killing off a lot of this. 
We do need to see that spore come up though. Spore so important right now. The links are getting minced. Oh man, the links are just getting destroyed right now. Two spore colonies come up, but there's so many DTs here. Can he just cut through everything? The two DTs or the two spore colonies go down so quick. We don't have any detection. No detection, what? Oh man, this detection. Oh no, there's one overlord here. The one overlord here, he hasn't noticed. That one overlord saving the day right now. Absolutely crazy. Single ling here, 28 kill DT. The burrowed lings are very, very smart. Very cute right now for Xiao Shuai. Just making sure that he can't take anything too easily here. Oh man, more DTs. How many DTs is this? this is 10 DTs coming in right now. I'm gonna kill all the overlords once again. The plus three attack is on the way for these courses. Finally, plus two is on the way. Okay, he's actually gonna get that. Still no greater spire though. Uh, just bonkers. Bonkers that he's not making that. A lot of DTs over here. This is 10 DTs. Once again, gonna make their way forward. We've got nine Corsairs here with their plus two. They've all taken damage, but they're not dead yet. Here we go. Is it a good day to die? Let's find out. He's heading over towards the natural. There's a spore there. He can't push forward, but you know what? There's no spore here and there's just one overlord. He needs to start sending in all the overlords here to break this position. Oh my God, the Scourge just getting annihilated not even one connection more corsairs coming in and the lings are trying to fight but the dts need only back away during these moments as soon as the overlords are gone they can turn once again to start shredding all of the lings the lings are going down like crazy another overlord coming into range but again backing up and just killing off all the lings now after the overlords go down one more time, overlords are gonna come forward, but he is completely supply blocked here. Xiao Shuai and the Lings come forward again. How many kills? 22, 11, 13, 14. Look at how many kills on these things. 22 on this one as well. Unreal, he's gonna push forward again. As the overlords go down, he's got six overlords that have to pop out before he can even make anything. Finally, eight overlords in production. He's got some open supply, but he just can't do anything right here. The Dark Templar is gonna push through. Dude, Snow kinda clowning here. And it's working is the craziest part. Overlords are gonna pop. More Scourge on the way. Plus two armor is done, but plus three attack for the Corsairs is operational. The fact that he didn't build a sport this base gotta be haunting Chao Shuai right now. This man is gonna have nightmares about these DTs ripping through his armies and his third base going down because now it seems like Snow can actually take his own fourth that prolong this game. This is ridiculous, guys. What a fantastic, fantastic game. What a great find. Shout out to Dude Nerd for putting this in the Seawall Discord. We've got, what, plus three lings? Oh, almost three, three. We are gonna have a Defiler finally coming out on the field. A uh, Defiler would be fantastic. You can throw down that, uh, that goo on these Corsairs. He does manage to get it. What is that micro? Look at that micro. From Snow here. Absolutely ridiculous. Looks like he's like patrol microing these or something. I'm gonna come in another big flag there. Wipes out all of those uh, Scourge once again. Gonna come through for the Overlord kills. You can drop the play goo. On it. Oh, go, 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 go. Plague, 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 plague. Oh my god. How did we not get a plague there? Plague on the DTs? Plague on the DTs is so good. Where is that plague? Crazy. We're on one base mining now. And we're about to be on two base here. 
as uh, as snow. This is really bad for Chao Shuai right now. Dude, one spore really would have saved him in this game. That is crazy. Still got a chance here. But now we're bringing up Reavers as well. Oh, plague it. Please plague it. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, that is ridiculous. Do dodging the, the plague there. Dude, that is ridiculous. That is so crazy. Oh, Ling's going to go down right now. We do have some mutas coming out. I tell you, man. One. Just one. He's not going to go after the shuttle, too. Oh, the shuttle lives. Just one dev devour, maybe two devours. It does so much to fight this composition. The uh, the advantage here with th plus three neutron flares is also just so deadly. Can he actually pick this off? He's going to deal some damage, but seven HP total. Nine HP on this thing. And we deal nine damage. So one more mutilus shot would have finished that off. He's going to come in again. He's going for it. Oh, he can't kill it, but the Reaver does go down. The shuttle lives, though. And with the next base coming up, I think we're moments away from seeing Zhao Shui forced out of this game. He's going to try to take the base in the bottom left, but things are looking dire. All he's got is a few lings. I mean, he's got two 2,000 minerals, but he just can't make anything because he lost three whole hatches uh, of production coming in gonna snipe down some of these spore colonies disruption web was finally researched and there it is he utilizes that to block the sunken colonies from dealing any damage and snow going to work on the drone line what a crazy strategy here from snow making reaver and Corsair work out here for him. The Reaver Corsair plus Templar army is devastating, man. I never realized quite how, like, shockingly strong that could be. Even on just three gases. He only had three gases for a very long time. He only just got this fourth gas up now. But he produced kind of a crazy number of Dark Templar. Look at that. 35 kill Dark Templar. 35 kills, guys. Absolute hero of a Dark Templar there. And of course, getting that fleet beacon, not something that every Protoss player will do, but making great use of, out of that here. Snow getting up to plus three uh, attack upgrade and utilizing that perfectly. Really, I, I gotta fault a little bit Xiao Shuai there, man. Not going for those immediate extra armor upgrades. If you're going to go Hydra, that's one thing. You don't need to get those Carapace upgrades for the air. But if you're going to just keep making Scourge and Mutus the whole game, explain to me why you wouldn't want another Carapace upgrade. And going into... Greater Spire there as well would have been fantastic. Even a Queen, honestly, would have been great in this game. Um, when I saw the Queen's Nest, I thought m we might see a Queen, but... Without a Queen there, you know, Ensnare would have been fantastic. You can Ensnare all of the Dark Templar and just snipe them all. You can Ensnare the, the Corsairs as well. Makes it way easier to hit your Scourge, so I'm really not tracking with the the mentality here of Xiao Shui. also of course i've said it already but not putting a, a spore colony here that's just ridiculous it's just just kind of crazy guys um but hey gotta give it up to snowman good old snowman leveraging that plus two attack right as it came online to break open this location by just killing the overlords over and over and over and rallying DTs forward. Breaking that base was crazy. After losing this Nexus and this Nexus, I thought that Snow was dead, man. I thought he was done for. But he managed to pull it all back with that one move, with that one attack here into the third. 
He clawed his way back into this game and he managed to take the win. Very impressive, fun game though, guys. I hope I've shown you that foreign players are absolutely capable of putting up some great, worthwhile and fun to watch games. Thank you so much for joining me here today for your daily dose of Brood War and I'll see you tomorrow.